Today I built the easiest rocking chair possible for about 10 bucks. I started by freehanding a rocker on three feet of two by four, and I just made it fit as good as possible with the largest curve possible. I used my skill saw to make shortcuts, and I used my band saw to cut out the rockers. I built these rocking chairs off at the top of my head as I went, but I'll try to give you guys, you know, basic measurements so you can try to make your own if you'd like to. I've really wanted a set of rocking chairs and a table for a while, but they're about $150 a chair. That's why when I decided that I could probably do this, even though I've never even used a bandsaw before, <laughs> and I could do it for about $10 a chair. They took about four two by fours per chair. I'm not a woodworker, and the point isn't to make the nicest looking rocking chair on the planet. The point is, I live off grid and I like to live frugal and sustainable. So making a really cheap, utilitarian rocking chair is right up my alley. This is my Vivor bandsaw. It's by Vivor, tough tools, half price. It's a really awesome company that really aligns with my brand. And this is my first time using a bandsaw. I'm really surprised with how well built this Vivor bandsaw is. And it just cut through this 2x4 like butter. This is where woodworkers would sand this and refine it and make it really nice. But I don't care. I love rustic stuff. And I just don't have enough tools to really make this beautiful. But I'm happy with the way that they work. Now that I have one rocker that works just like I want it to, I simply traced it out four times. This is because I want to make a pair of these rocking chairs. If you've never used a bandsaw like I haven't, you might find it helpful. As I traced these out, I would cut just on the outside of the pencil line to make sure that one rocker was the same size as the next. I really like how quiet this bandsaw is. I like that I didn't have to make adjustments to use it the first time. And there's an awesome safety switch you can just bump to turn it off. I like to do things by myself for the most part. But I looked online to see how other people are doing DIY rocking chairs. And I didn't like how huge they made the rockers or the rocking chair itself. I wanted my rocking chair to look more like a classic rocking chair, which uses thinner wood. And so I ripped down my 2x4s for the most of the build. I'm sure some people will know exactly what I'm doing and some others won't. So what I did was I marked it one and three quarters, which is the center of the two by four, snapped a line from front to back and carefully and precisely ripped the two by four from one end to the other. This provided me with small enough lumber that it's strong, but more of a classical look. And my next step was to eyeball and basically reverse engineer what length do I need these boards to be. I looked at the chair that you can see in the video here and I sat and found where I would comfortably sit. I noticed that it was 18 inches roughly because, you know, being a little bit older, you don't want to sit down deeper than that. It can hurt your knees. And I used that measurement to find my front board there. I knew that I wanted the front board to be about two inches back from the front of the rocker and the back one to be about eight inches in. And that will allow your rocker to kind of recline naturally as you sit. As I looked at the placement of the back board, which will go all the way back up to the headrest, I noticed that I needed to make about a 10 degree cut so that it would sit the way that I wanted it to sit. So those four boards for the four rockers that go up to the header have a 10% angle cut at the bottom. I pre-drilled each of the holes and then I used a tap so that I could recess the hole for the head of the screw. I promise I'll build a workbench here soon enough, but for now I just assembled everything on the ground and hey, that's a frugal thing to do, so. I think this video could help a lot of people that want to build something like this and don't really have all the tools and tables and saws and jigs and <laughs> everything the, you know, the standard person making a rocking chair might have. 
So as mentioned, the long board in the back is about 44 inches, and the 18 inches I measured was from the bottom of the rocker. So including the bottom of the rocker and the board was 18 inches. You might want to go an inch or two shorter if you're below 5'10", because my toes just touch the ground. To find out the board that I would sit on, I simply actually put a board across there and saw where it was, looked at, you know, each, each frame is going to be a little different. So what was the center roughly I saw? And, and then I put that board across where I would sit. To help me figure this out, I made sure that it was square on the front board and then found what was the middle area for both of them, made a mark on the back and then put them both in the same place. And then I repeated this. I made four of these so that I could make two rocking chairs. I measured the chair that's in the video for width and it was 18 inches. And so that's about what I did. I made this, these boards that connect the two frames together 17 inches. And that makes it about 19 inches because I wanted to make sure, you know, I'm not anorexic. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I could fit between the armrests when everything was done comfortably. I did this entire build in under an hour because I had a live uh, video that was going to be shared between me and Simply Lisa. And I wanted to have the chair done so I could sit down in the shade and relax while I was on the live. So... I really whipped this out pretty quickly, and I hope that motivates some people to give it a shot. If you want to live frugal and sustainably like I do, check out Vivor Tools. They're tough tools for half price. The link is down below for that bandsaw. Enter to win a $1,000 power station on my website. I'll put the link below for the rules. And if you want to support my channel, I hope you'll buy land or a power station through my links that are down below.